We made a theater piece. Yes, we did. Jack Ann. Go team. Class of 16. Woo. <laughs> Our theater piece is about nourishing dreams. It's about reentry after prison. I served 33 years in the New York State prison system. Our performance shifted the conversation from how much time one has served to the amount of dreaming that has been given to the state. The real talk is this piece was not a metaphor. Making this piece was an act of reentry. There are many aesthetic assumptions about making a work on reentry. Our national dialogues around mass incarceration are plagued by a guilt innocence dichotomy in which the greatest miscarriage of justice is the sentencing of an innocent person. If we are a nation of dreamers, what is the debt of incarcerating over 2% of our population? Many of whom for which that dichotomy may not rest so clearly. We expanded this landscape, drawing on vast materials from 1950s sitcoms to black punk, to early waltz notation, to feminist minimalist painters, to ceremonies of entering society like cotillion balls, to traditions of welcoming ancestors back to society that exist throughout the African diaspora. Making work that speaks many formal, cultural, historical, aesthetic, and experiential languages demands audiences who bring diverse lexicons into the room. We wanted to share the work with folks who would understand it and help expand the creative conversation. Audiences whom these ideas are personal and central in their own lives. In each city we toured, we worked with local reentry communities. We won petitions with the federal government to grant work release evening passes. We collaborated with grassroots advocacy organizations. Yeah. <laughs> Led by folks who've served time, we worked with district attorneys and state heads of juvenile justice and our wonderful partners, oh, there they are, at CAC Cincinnati, on the boards, MCA Chicago, PICA, BAM, the Walker Arts Center, and New York Live Arts. And we're open to more. Before I came home, I had never been on an airplane. Now I got frequent flyer miles. <laughs> and we need to use them. This winter, we also launched arts programming at four juvenile prisons in upstate New York. I imagine if I had met who I am today, when I was a kid, some of these kids are serving nine years to life. To be able to look them in the eye and say, I know, I've been there. Let's imagine and dream and build another possibility. It starts there. My 16-year-old self could have never imagined being in this room with all of y'all. It starts there, and I got lost. And you have to be able to imagine it. And that's, what we've, and that's what we've been doing this spring, working at juvenile prisons, using theater to dream together and to share life tools. What we're looking for? Support to continue our programming. We partnered with Lumberyard, and they supported the first year. But now we have to get funds for year two. Someone to help us build curriculum based on Jack Ann for high schools and juvenile detention centers. We have a beautiful video of the project from OTB TV that we will pair with a classroom curriculum. We've been asked for these materials everywhere we've worked, from detention centers in Minnesota to public schools in Chicago to Los Angeles to New York City. We are looking for someone to help us finish that curriculum and for funds to develop, pilot, disseminate the text. The ask. The ask. Our ask is for a speaking engagements agent for my brilliant collaborator, Cornell Nate Alston. Yes, yes, yes. To tour colleges, conferences, prisons, theaters, to inspire and transform hearts and minds, to talk on art making and reentry and dreaming and every space in between. Thank you all in advance for any leads. Upcoming, Kaneza has a new show, Cartography, that she premiered at the Kennedy Center and is coming to New York City this January at, at New Victory Theater. Just check it out. Thank you, Nate. That piece is thinking about migration and mapping and how we all place ourselves in this historical moment of the largest mass migration in human history. That piece centralizes young audiences in national discussions of migration and as primary audiences of contemporary art. 
I'm interested in centralizing young audiences to support and challenge our cultural institutions to understand themselves as public space. That is available for touring, and we are always particularly interested in touring opportunities in the global south. Up next for me, to tell the truth, what me and this woman has pulled off is insane and against all odds. <laughs> the call for me, the call for me has always been working with young people, giving back. Looking forward to the next season working with these kids in prison and getting on the road to give speeches and share my experiences and inspire dreaming. And up next for me is working on a short film and performance KL2 using Mark Twain's King Leopold's soliloquy and the Belgian documentary film Buona Kitoko to perform an exorcism of Leopold and his reign of terror on the Congo Free State, <laughs> which included parts of my family's home in present day Rwanda. Creative Capital, thank you so much for investing in the unknown and impossible with us. In 2012, a very important event happened in my life that changed it forever. I met this woman. Thank you, Jamaica. I love you.